Hey guys! So, if you missed yesterday's video, I'm doing a series of vintage looks from old MAC collections. And yesterday I started with the Spring 1997 collection, and that was Color Abstraction. And today I'm doing um, Hutopia, and this is the Spring Collection from 2000. And this is about as opposite as you can get from yesterday's video. And that's good because I want to show a wide variety of looks. I mean, yesterday I had silver, pink, and blue, which are colors that you might associate with spring, but you can also associate spring with earthy colors like green and brown and orange. So let's get into it then. Max Utopia collection. The lipstick from that collection, the, the one that was called Utopia was an orange lipstick, but it was limited edition to that collection. So what I did was I substituted an orange lipstick that I had and I used an orange blush to incorporate the orange into the look and for products for that, I used Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter Lipstick in Tutti Fruity. And yes, that is indeed an orange lipstick and looks kind of crazy on me. But you know, to me, makeup is not always what is wearable so much as it is artistry, creativity, having fun with it, you know, creating something totally different. And I was so focused on my neutrals and everything that I lost that aspect of makeup application. And it's an important part of it, you know, you need to have fun with it. I mean, today's Sunday, so I'm not going anywhere special or anywhere in particular, although I do think I am gonna, I just remembered, I, yeah, I am gonna be going somewhere. But, um, yeah, so... It, it's important to have fun with it and mix it up and do different things and not always wear your makeup the exact same way. So for the orange blush, I chose NARS Torrid because this is about as orangey as a blush as I own in my collection. So I figured that that would go well with the Revlon Tutti Fruity. Okay, but this video is about Recreating old vintage MAC looks. So the three eyeshadows that were from that collection that are still part of the permanent line are Shroom, which I used as my highlight, and then the green one is Humid, and then the brown one is Mulch, right? <laughs> yeah, why do I question myself like that. Yeah, shroom, humid, and mulch. So at first I was thinking I was going to do the brown on the lids and then maybe do the green in the crease. And then when I swatched them and I saw how dark and deep the brown was, I was like, no, I'm definitely going to need to use that in the crease. But Boy, it has been a long, long time since I did green on my eyelid, especially a green that is this dark and deep. And um, like I said, not the best colors for me, but really fun to challenge yourself like this, you know, to take specific colors and put together a look with them. So that's what I did for the eyeshadows. And then to... So along with that look, I decided to do a bronze eyeliner, waterline, and tight line. Oh, and I did take a little bit of the mulch down along the lower lash line as well. But I noticed that when you do deeper, darker colors, um, or you really want to make the most of any look, it's nice to try to coordinate your eyeliner with it. So mulch is a bronze color, so I used... L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner in Bronze on my waterline and tight line to really kind of bring that, intensify that bronze color. And I also used my Burberry, Burberry Lip Definer in Rosewood 
under this. Otherwise, who knows what it would look like. <laughs> I'm not really wild about the way it looks anyway. Orange is a real tough color for me to pull off, which is why you don't see it on me that often. But this, to me, this is just going to be like a series of makeup challenges. So that's what I used as a lip pencil um, because I felt like, you know, I want to get as close to my lip color with the lip pencil as possible before I went in with the Tutti Frutti. So the other thing that I wanted to mention about this is that my plan was to do these in order and you may have noticed that I went from spring 97 to spring 2000. Well what happened to spring 98 and spring 99? I don't have that information. Um, I can only do what I have the information for so that's part of the problem and the other part of the problem is I need to pick up a few products to be able to do some of these collections um, as you can see I'm not you know getting the the blush and the lipstick and everything but a lot of times these are limited edition products that aren't available anymore anyway but even if they did use something from the permanent line I can't go out and buy every single lipstick every single blush you know to be able to do the look fully so I'm just kinda um, using what I've got in my collection to substitute and try to focus the whole thing on the eyes I will pick up maybe a blush or a lipstick here and there but it's gonna be far and few between I was going to go to the Good Mall today, which is Natick Mall, which is where my closest Mac store is, and um, my husband is very sick, so we couldn't go to the mall, and I didn't want to go by myself and leave him homesick, so I placed an order online with Mac, and I did order a few things so that I can keep going with this series, but of course... Um, you know, I just got like standard shipping, so it's going to take a week to get those products. So in the meantime, I might be jumping around with the years of the collections until I can get um, the rest of the products that I need to do these. So I'm going to do as many of the spring collections as I can, and then I'm going to move into the summer ones. But uh, there's quite a few there's quite a few spring ones that I have the information for that they still used eyeshadows from the permanent line. So this is going to be a lot of fun to put my own spin on what these looks are and also to be able to do it without any limited edition eyeshadows that were a part of that collection. So we'll see how that goes. So that is it you guys and I Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.